Hey everyone, it's Victor here, and welcome to my first anxiety survival guide. I have suffered from anxiety for most of my life. I often try to look back and analyze what changed in my life and what happened before I had breakdowns, because there is always a reason for them. If you are going through a difficult time due to anxiety, try to take a moment to think about what's happening in your life. If something bad or stressful happens in your life, it is a natural human response to be fearful of it and therefore develop anxiety around it. Sometimes anxiety can be triggered after a traumatic event, and this is a completely natural human response, and you shouldn't feel like you're going crazy or it's irrational. Different people all deal with anxiety in different ways, because we all have different levels of underlying anxiety. Some people are just highly anxious people, naturally. It's part of who they are. They have a quicker adrenaline response. For example, you may know someone who's very level-headed, enjoys horror movies and extreme sports. And you may know someone else who, if you slightly sneak up on them or if there's a loud noise, they freak out. These two different people have completely different levels of underlying anxiety. And nothing is wrong with either of them. The problem for high adrenaline people such as myself is when they get overwhelmed. If your adrenaline response is getting set off over and over and bad things are happening all at once, your underlying stress levels are going to get even higher all the time. And that leads to panic attacks. The secret to dealing with your anxiety personally is knowing your limits and to know what kind of adrenaline person you are. Allow yourself to take time out if something is overly stressing you. I have a few bits of advice for you with how to deal with those high anxiety times in your life. The first piece of advice is probably quite an obvious piece of advice, but believe me, it does work. And that is deep breathing. If you feel you're getting anxious, take about 10 deep breaths, taking about six to eight seconds for each breath in and out. This genuinely sends signals to your brain that everything is fine and your heart rate will slow. After about 10 breaths, you will start to feel a bit more level-headed and grounded. Another technique, which I actually learnt from another video I watched, and I wish I could remember who made it, but it's to work on that feeling of a rising panic attack. And I know that sounds really scary, but if you get that feeling, if you start to get that panic feeling, and you then pretend it's excitement, or tell yourself that you're feeling excitement rather than panic, and almost encourage that feeling, your body will then feel that there is no fear, there's no danger, and it will just overwhelm you with excitement rather than panic. And that really can work for some people. Panic attacks only really happen when you fight them. If you start to feel like you're getting a panic attack and you know you're gonna get a panic attack, you start to think about having a panic attack, that's when you'll have one. It's much better to feel that you can encourage that feeling, that it's excitement, that you, it's nervous excitement, whatever you're thinking about. Think about the positive side of that feeling, and that can really work. It's worked for me a number of times, especially when I was on the way to doing filming or going to conventions, things like that, things that I was excited about but also nervous. If you are now having a panic attack, I can recommend one thing that has always saved me every single time, and that is lavender oil. Now, I always carry a little bottle of lavender oil with me in my pocket, when I'm going out anywhere or if I feel I'm having a more anxious day than usual. This is incredible stuff. Honestly, I, I can't recommend it enough. I've recommended it to everyone I know personally who suffers from anxiety. Basically, if you start to feel like you're actually having a panic attack or your anxiety is building, take a couple of breaths in of this. A really good deep breath so you can feel it going through your lungs. Breathe it out and you may need to take a few. But that has stopped panic attacks in its tracks for me, every single time. I can, be, I can be in the middle of a panic attack and I breathe this in, and it stops. In a few seconds after I've breathed it in. It really is incredible. Now, I don't know the actual scientific way that it works, but I know that it basically shuts off the panic receptors, or something of that like. I'm not an expert. It basically sends calm signals to your brain for you, when you can't find them yourself. So yes, lavender oil, if you can see it there, the kind I get. Oh, see it there? The brand is Mi Aroma, and it's lavender essential oil. I highly recommend that. Anyone who suffers from anxiety, I would say get this straight away. If you can't carry a little bottle around, uh, you can also buy those vial necklaces. 
that have the little, um, you know, the cute little vials with the corks in them. They're adorable, but super convenient if you want to have a little bit of oil carrying around with you all the time, because you can just open it on your necklace. Um, and they also look amazing, they look super stylish, so I would highly recommend doing that. I actually haven't bought a vial necklace, but I really want to, and fill it uh, with some lavender oil, because I feel like that'd be much more convenient. But yes, that, that is my huge recommendation for dealing with anxiety when you're out in public especially, because it's very easy just to kind of quickly breathe in to stop the panic attack from developing. Another thing I do is if I'm out in public, and I start to feel anxious. I switch myself off from the people and the noise and the fact I'm being misgendered. And I start to think of the places that make me feel safe and the places that I personally would want to be in in that moment. Your safe place will be completely different from my safe place, but my safe place and my calm place for me is in the forest just listening to the wind in the trees and the birds and just taking in the quiet atmosphere. That to me is my safe place. It's always comforting to remember the places that you feel safe in. Another thing you can do is if you are at home and if you have animals and if you like animals, uh, go cuddle them, play with them. Animals have an amazing ability to calm people down. If you are an animal lover, of course. If you aren't, uh, maybe you have friends or a family member who's close to you that you could go and talk to or sit next to or hug. Just a bit of human contact is good. Just talk to someone you trust if you're, if you're having an anxious moment or an anxious day or if you just want a bit of time to chill out with them. Another thing I do is I listen to ambient sounds and music. Basically waterfall noises or forest atmosphere or rain on a window. Whatever noise personally calms you. I have to recommend the Guild of Ambience, which is a YouTube channel that make two hour, three hour long videos of ambient sounds and music with beautiful animations along with it. If you've had a tough day, I suggest going home, putting on the Guild of Ambience videos and just switching off for a bit and imagining you're somewhere peaceful, just forgetting about what happened today or what's making you anxious. Just, just have a moment to reduce your stress levels because an anxious breakdown only happens when your stress levels have been raised over a period of time. So it's important that you take time to reduce them, however you may do that. Overall, it's very important to realize when you are pushing yourself too hard or when you're overstressing your body. If you do that, you'll have a good chance of avoiding breakdowns, but sometimes they happen. If you're having a breakdown at the moment and your life feels very flipped over because your anxiety seems to be ruling your everyday life, don't worry. You will get through this and you will be stronger for it. Just realize you need time to heal and you deserve this time to heal. Don't tell yourself you are weak because you can't do the things you used to be able to do or you can't do the things that your friends are doing. Like I said, everyone has different levels of anxiety. Everyone's different. No one's weak. We're all just individuals with different personalities and different ways of being. Some people just have to put up with more stress than others and this can overwhelm you, but that does not make you weak. If anything, it makes you stronger. I believe in you and I know you can do this. If you have any questions for me regarding anxiety, or anything else for that matter, please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them in my next videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.